thanks for staying with us. And time for the sports news. Here's Baron Tony Uranta. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Thank you, Ladi, and welcome to Sports News. Luis Suarez scored his first Champions League goal in more than a year as Barcelona beat AS Roma convincingly in the quarterfinal of the UEFA first leg tie. Barcelona benefited from two own goals to take control of the tie 4-1. Current African Football of the Year and Egyptian international Mohamed Salah opened scoring as Liverpool took control of their tie with a stunning 3-0 first leg victory over Manchester City at Anfield. The second legs come up next Tuesday. And back on the domestic scene, Lobby Stars have remained on top of the Nigeria Professional Football League table after playing a one-all draw with host Abia Warriors. Ibrahim Majani scored twice and made two assists as Rangers thrashed Yobi's Desert Stars 3-0 in Enugu. Junior Lokosa scored his 14th goal of the season for Kano Pillars and their 4-0 demolition of FC Fanyuba. Nasarawa United, Rivers United earned a crucial victory while Kwara United and held Sunshine Stars in a relegation battle. Meanwhile, Nigerian international Obafemi Martins has been ruled out of action for between six and seven months with a torn hamstring. Martin sustained the injury against Kashima Antlers in the Asian Champions League on Tuesday. The 33-year-old forward was carried off midway through the first half of the Continental Club fixture, which they drew to all. The injury ends any faint hopes Martins may have had of making the Super Eagles coach Gernot Rohr's squad for this year's World Cup in Russia. And Tunisia have announced a friendly against Turkey on the 1st of June in Switzerland as the Carthage Eagles finalized preparations for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. The Tunisian Football Federation, the FTF, confirmed they will take on Turkey at a yet-to-be-determined venue. This game comes five days after a high-profile trip to Lisbon, where they face reigning European champions Portugal on the 28th of May. The Carthage Eagles will camp in Switzerland before moving to Russia for their final warm-up fixture against Spain in Krasnodar on the 9th of June. Tennis now and Novak Djokovic has again shaken up his coaching camp. The former world number one had announced today he was severing his ties with coach Radek Stepanek. This comes just days after he and Andre Agassi parted ways. The serve is scheduled to play next to the Monte Carlo Masters, which begins on the 14th of April. And finally, former Australia captain Steve Smith and batsman Cameron Bancroft say they will not contest their ball tampering bans. Smith and former vice captain David Warner were given one year bans, and Bancroft handed a nine month suspension by Cricket Australia after the incident against South Africa. Smith's acceptance of his 12 month ban means that he will be able to return to top flight cricket on around April 2019, about two months before the World Cup is due to begin in England. And that's it on Sports News for tonight. I'm Barong Tony Ranta and Ladi will be back with the wrap. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Thanks, Barong. Al Hassan Al Mahmoud, the Malian jihadist, has made his first appearance before the International Criminal Court charged with war crimes. He was a leader of the religious police in the city of Timbuktu when it was controlled by Islamists from 2013. Ag Mahmoud is accused of rape, sexual enslavement, and the destruction of cultural monuments. He was arrested in Mali and transferred to The Hague last week. Russia's proposal for a new joint investigation into the poisoning of an ex-spy, Sergei Skepro, and his daughter Yulia in England. As a member of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, Russia has the right to request an emergency meeting of the body, but its offer of a joint investigation was dismissed by the United Kingdom. Police in California say the shooter at the YouTube headquarters in California was angry over the organization's treatment of her videos, going by a video posting in which she was seen expressing her frustration. Three people were wounded in the attack, which happened on Tuesday, with the attacker herself dead. Nassim Agidam was said to have lived in San Diego, Southern California, and ran a number of channels and a website, posting videos on a variety of subjects, including those highlighting animal cruelty. 
She was described as a vegan bodybuilder, an artist and a rapper. Earlier this year, she posted a video complaining that YouTube was filtering her content, leading to fewer views. And if you go and check my videos, you see that my new videos hardly get views. And my old videos that used to get many views, I stopped getting views. So this is because I'm being filtered. And another thing, they age restricted my ab workout video. All of the channels have now been deleted. My workout video gets age restricted. On Tuesday, police said they were responding to an active shooter at YouTube's headquarters near San Francisco. As witnesses described seeing blood on the floor and stairs and casualties were reported. The suspect is reported to have approached an outdoor patio and dining area at the offices in San Bruno, near San Francisco, at about lunchtime and opened fire with a handgun. And the main news again. Governors of the ruling All Progressives Congress today backed President Mohamed Buhari on tenure extension for elected party officials. The governors also announced that the party is set for its congresses at all levels. Also today, the president met with security chiefs where he approved $1 billion for the purchase of military equipment to tackle terrorism and other crimes. And the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons today turns down Russia's proposal for a joint probe into the poisoning of an ex-spy and his daughter in the United Kingdom. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks for being with us. I am Ladi Akiri Dunduale. Good night.